Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Public Coin, and today I have a video for you just to show you a few new purchases that I got in. And uh, I got in a small hoard of Morgan dollars, all NGC graded Mint State 64. And I just was going to show you a handful, and we're going to have a bunch of them up on uh, the website. And uh, you can take a look there for, for some of these guys. Uh, the general consensus, most Min State 64 uh, Morgans trade for between about $55 and $65, uh, just kind of depending. Uh, this 010 Morgans got a pretty nice look to it overall. We'll take a closer look. Real clean field. And a lot of uh, little chatter, but nothing, no major marks to distract your eye. Got a, something under the U and Pluribus up there. And you know, you generally see some scuff marks and whatnot still on a 64 coin. Uh, what you want to see is uh, a coin that is generally has good luster to it. Uh, nowadays, uh, the toning and eye appeal matters a little bit for the grading companies. If you look at PCGS's guidelines, if they find toning ugly, they will discount a coin. Um, so these coins are mostly white. One of my comments about that is that um, I've had a lot of people tell me or ask me about how many coins have been dipped or cleaned. And I actually think a remarkably large number of Morgan dollars are uh, original and have not been dipped or cleaned. Uh, they can stay safely in a bag somewhere and not have to worry about uh, you know, toning. Not everything tones. Not everything needs to be dipped. Uh, this 1882S, really nice. If you really like uh, the high-end luster and cartwheel effect, uh, get yourself a nice 1880, 80, 81, 82S Morgan because they're just super lustrous. They're usually really well struck. Um, I appeal wise, those, those mints are some of my favorite mints. Um, this 1888, that's kind of a fun date. You don't see that as often in nicer grades. They don't list for a ton extra, but but you really don't see them often. And I had a, a customer, he used to buy every 1888 Morgan dollar that I got in, especially if it was a, like a just an average mint state, uh, average mint state coin. Uh, he would give them away. Um, and, you know, the eight is a lucky number in um, Asian culture. So not all of them probably, but uh, enough, I've dealt with enough that have told me, hey, they want eights. So they also collect lots of eights on banknotes. So the 1888 is, um, is a fun coin because I don't see that one quite as often. 99 New Orleans. This coin I found to be pretty nice uh, overall. A few less marks to it than some of the other coins. Um, you know, the reverse of this coin is really smooth and original, satiny uh, finish, very small, few contact marks. Continues to make the argument for having split grading. Uh, you know, call this a 64 on the obverse and a 65 on the reverse. This may be, um, this may be the nicest of the group. I mean, that's actually really clean. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see how much cleaner the field is on this coin versus some of the other ones. So that one actually is probably uh, a shot at being a five, but it's not worth spending the money to take the risk, in my opinion. Uh, this 85, 85 O's, 84 O's, 83 O's, those are some of the most common coins that you'll find graded 64. Um, you'll see those come out. Uh, they came out by the bag full. Um, uh, 30, 40 years ago, people were bringing them out of the woodwork. And so those, you find a lot of them in this grade range. So overall, a nice looking coin. Some contact marks up top under In God We Trust. A pretty strong strike for an O-Mint. You can see all the fine lines on the Eagle's Talons. So some of the New Orleans mint coins are really well worn down. Others, not so much. Really strong strike for the year. And then on the obverse, 
a lot of little contact marks going on there but overall overall good eye appeal coin lastly speaking of eye appeal i told you about those 80 s's 81 82 s's and uh i could i could look at the cartwheel on coins like this all day long uh just the way the fields they're not really what you'd call proof like but just really i don't know brilliant i guess is what you would you would say uh, both sides of the coin have a lot of that brilliance going on. And we'll take a closer look at what that looks like. You see a lot of fine lines on that, and this is all die polish. You see all those lines that go, they're just all over the place. That's a part of what gives the coin its brilliance, um, is all those fine lines. They reflect the light when the coin turns to the light. That's all because the the dies were polished up really really strongly, uh, and the obverse you'll see a lot of the same. It's got some scuffs on the cheek, uh, but that that luster is just unmistakable. That's a view I could look at all day long right there. Just pretty pretty. Looks like a lake, just kind of a placid lake, not a not a hurricane lake, right? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. We've got a small group of these going up right now on our website uh, at oldpublicoin.com. You can subscribe by clicking on the button here in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks for watching.